Little did I know that in dating Lindsay, I was actually signing up to date two Goodmans. That summer, whatever Lindsay and I did for a date, somehow Christopher would tag along. So despite the fact that he was our perpetual third wheel, I came to love him and his company. I also learned three key things about his character, which I think will serve him well in marriage. His love for home, his humor, and his heart. Now Chris, these three character traits you have are key personality ingredients to a happy marriage, but they have to be bound together by three other virtues. Humility, gratitude, and patience. Now, virtues are things that you have to work at. And if we're being honest here, these three things aren't yet your strongest suits. But anyone who knows you will say that you're one of the hardest workers out there. And I know that you can do it. And you have to, because you've been giving an unbelievable gift. Someone who can actually be around you. For your entire life. All kidding aside, your new wife is an amazing woman. She is sweet, she's smart, fun, and most importantly, has a huge heart to match yours. Getting to know Andrea over the past few years has been a joy, and Lindsay and I are so thankful that our children will grow up with Aunt Dredra. She's a gift to our entire family, but most of all, she's the most precious gift that you can receive. It is your responsibility as a husband to always treasure her and protect that gift. The vows that you made to one another earlier are not merely words, but they are promises that you have both made before God you must live out each and every day. Love is commonly misunderstood to represent a feeling, but its classical definition is to will the good of another before oneself. Therefore, love is a choice, and it is fundamentally a choice to die to our selfish desires for the good of our beloved. And that choice is renewed daily with humility, gratitude, and patience. You are both blessed with incredible living pictures of how true love looks in the example of your parents, and I have no doubt that you will pass along that gift to the next generation. I love it. Your mom made that. I know. Isn't it incredible? It's amazing. You look so awesome. handsome. Christopher and Andrea, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to each other in marriage? We have. We have. You promise to love and honor each other for the rest of your lives. We will. We will. I, Christopher, take you, Andrea, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. 
in good times and in bad. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Andrea, take you, Christopher, to be my husband. I, Andrea, take you, Christopher, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. Andrea, take this ring. Andrea, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Christopher, take this ring. Christopher, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. And I now present to you for your continued love and support, Mr. and Mrs. Chris Goodman. You may kiss the bride. Come here. 